Hello. This time we are going to have a look at a way to send email messages from Perl. We are going to use a simple script and we are using the email stuffer module, which is a simple wrapper around many robust modules to send emails. The first thing we need to create is a text message. So the text message is uh, we are using the um, your document uh, format to create a variable called dollar text with some text message. Then we are going to use the email stuffer module, which has an interesting way to use. You don't create a, an object using the new method, but you can create an email, uh, an object with a, a very, uh, various uh, methods, for example, the text body method, and it returns that object and then you, on that object you can call another method, for example the subject method, that will add this subject to the email and it returns again the object. So you can call again the, another method, let's say the from method, that will set the from address that the users will see as the email when the, they receive the email, email. And then you can attach to that a to address where the email is actually sent, and as you can see, it's uh, being sent from Gabor at Permaven to Fu at Permaven. Now, the way I set this up, that Fu Permaven is being sent to uh, a Gmail account. Once uh, the script is ready, we just re run the script and switch to Gmail, and within a couple of seconds, the email has already arrived. And as you can see, uh, the text is there. So that was the most simple way to, to send an email. You just created an email stuffer object and then set the various parameters and called send. What if we would like to, to send it to several email, several addresses? We could uh, create again and again the whole thing, but instead of that, what we do is we create a single email object, email stuffer object, we assign it to the dollar $email variable, that already has the common values, the text body, the subject, and the from field. And then we have this uh, list of addresses, uh, this addresses array, and um, we're going to iterate over it. One of the addresses is foo at Perlmaven, the other one is Perl, uh, is bar at Perlmaven, both go to the same Gmail account, and then we can iterate over these addresses, and using the email object we have already created, we can assign, we can set the two field to new addresses again and again. And then we just call the send method. Obviously, we could have uh, passed the whole list of um, email addresses, the two fields, uh, just to the single email, but that would mean that every email per uh, every recipient will see the addresses for the other people which you probably don't want so we send the email and as you can see both emails have already arrived and the, uh, the first one went to foo and the second one went to bar by chance basically so now we can see how can we uh, reuse part of the email that we have already created what if we want to be a bit more modern and uh, create an e HTML part of the email? It's much nicer, you can create, you can put colors in it, you can put uh, bigger letters, for example, H1 letters. You can make sure that a link is, has both a URL and a, a title, an anchor, which might be different. So you can create much nicer emails. We use the same uh, strategy. We create a, a variable called HTML using a here document, and then we attach that uh, HTML using the HTML body method to, to this email object. That's all we have to do, and uh, everything else is already done by the module. And then we call uh, Perl send mail PL again, the script, and we can see that the two messages over arrived, and as you can see, the capital letters HI, uh, or the, the big letters in with H1, and uh, the link. If you look at the source code, we can also see both the text, text version and below the HTML version. In addition, in the header, we can take a look and see that uh, it comes from a machine called air.local, which is the name of my notebook where I'm using, uh, where I'm doing the screen, screencast, meaning that the email stuffer used 
the local sendmail command. You might not have a, a local sendmail command, especially if you're using Windows, or if you haven't installed it, or you haven't configured it. And for that, you might want to use an SMTP server. Luckily, email sender provides several transport layers, for example, this SMTP transport layer, and we can use any of these transport layers, we just need to import the relevant module and add the transport layer to the email object. The way we do that is we call the transport method and pass to it an email sender transport SMTP object, which needs at least one parameter, which is the host name of the SMTP server, in our case that's the mail.perlmaven.com address. With this change, now if we run the sendmail PL again, it will send again the two messages, but instead of using the local sendmail command, it will connect to the SMTP server and that will deliver the message. If you look at the source of this email, then you can look for the air uh, and it's not there anymore. You can look for the local machine, it's not there. Instead of that, you can see that there's an SMTP address in there. 